Hi everyone, it's Dash of Dave here. Um, I'm back for another video, and this time I'm going to do be making something with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Now this seems to be like all the rage at the moment, and this has been inspired by Sewer Paper Inspiration. Sewer Paper Inspiration says the voice off to my left. Um, Brian's here. Um, so this is so this is what um, Sue did, um, and I've kind of done similar sort of thing just you know maybe put my pizzazz on it so anyway this is what we're this is what we're gonna make okay so we've got a little pocket thing here okay with um taggy tucky things in so we've got a couple of tags that we can stick in there okay then we've got this which is a pocket and another pocket so we've got this that we can put a tag in here okay and then we've got this that we can put another um tag in there but we've also got this which is just a little um notebook type thing so anyway that's what we that's what we've we're going to make we're going to replicate that so um i'm going to do like she did with some of my own flourishes involved okay so first of all Dave you don't need that because that's not a paper trimmer um you're going to need the paper trimmer that Brian is just has just picked up as I was going to use it um so what you need to do is decide your on your paper which is your which is up okay so I'm going to use this as being the top um I don't know whether that's the right way around who cares it doesn't matter um, and first of all, you're going to cut it down to eight. Okay, so remember it's a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. If you've got a salvage that you need to cut off, cut that off um, first and then cut it down to eight. Okay, take that bit off. Don't lose it though. Keep hold of it. And then you're going to turn it around and you're going to cut it down to eight again. And remember, you want to know which is your top. It's still this bit here. And you're going to cut that bit off. Okay, so. You're going to put those to one side for a moment and then you're going to take this and then you're going to pick up your scoreboard okay and then what you want to do is you want to score three uh, at the three inch point okay so um because i i don't want to get my big scoreboard down i'm going to mark that at six Line that up at six and then I'm going to score at three because then that's three inches yeah and then I'm going to remember that this is my top and then I'm going to turn it round keeping an eye on where you where the top is and then you're again going to line it up and you're going to score it at three okay so so now we've got whether you'll be able to see this but you've got You've got a fold here. You just try and see if we can see it better. So you've got a line that comes across here and a line that comes across here. And we want to cut this bit out, okay? So I'm just flip it back over to this side because it's easier for me to see. Not as easy for you to see, I realize, because you can see better on the white, but it's easier for me to see in this light. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this bit out, cutting the big bit out. So just cut that bit out, okay? And then I'm gonna put that to one side. Okay, so now what you've got is you've got um remember a uh, a mountain becomes a valley. So we've got our mountain this side, so it doesn't really matter on, on this, but um that's you fold that up and sorry, no you don't. You fold that across, yeah, and then you fold that up. Okay, so you can have it the other way round. Okay, I like the fact that it's kind of you know there's the this this particular paper is it's like this one i can't it's like the reverse image of itself um it's like a negative of itself is what i mean um i like that now some of them you obviously get where they're completely different either side so like this is completely different either side and this is you know to pick i literally just picked up a piece of paper that i liked okay so you're gonna you're making a pocket out of this now okay 
So you're gonna if you're having a pocket, I always like to have a divot in it. So in it. Um so I'm gonna cut a divot out at the top of here. Here. So that's good English. Like. Um there we go. So put that bit out there. Okay. Um and just to give us a bit more contrast, I'm going to ink my edges. Um, I'm still crafting in my going out clothes today. Uh, really should have changed, but hey, you know, continuity and all that. I'm still wearing the same. Just excuse me while I have a drink while I'm looking for um, my. No, oh, um, no idea where that is. My inky dauber thing. Um, yeah, that'll do for now. That's fine. Don't mind. Come on, colour. So I, I can't find my my round one. I don't know where that is at the moment. At this very moment in time, it's a wall. That's where it is. So I'm just going to ink the edge. So I like that look. If you don't want to ink the edge, don't ink the edge. That's entirely up to you. I'm not going to make you. I am not your papa. So as Nick the booksmith would tell you. Although she wouldn't say papa, she'd say mama. So oh, I don't know whether she says mama actually. She says something like that. I don't know. Does not she? Your mom. I'm not your mom. That's it, your mom. Okay, so I'm just gonna ink this edge here as well. And just come in off that edge to kind of give it a bit of a more of a grungy look. We like a bit of grunge. So, again, just coming in off there. Just, you know what I'm like for my inky edges, they have to be perfect. So, perfect for me anyway. So, I like a dark edge. I mean, I realise that lots of people don't. There's lots of people that find it too dirty looking, but you know, I like it dirty. Oh no, that sounds bad. Um, <laughs> I retract that. <laughs> Your Honour. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm just and I'm inking this edge because this is the edge that you're going to see in a in a second as well. So when I put it together, you'll understand what I mean. So you don't, I don't have to worry about this bit because you're not going to see it, and I only have to worry to that edge, to that bit there. Cool. Okay, so. Let's just move that out of the way for a second. Okay, so that's what we've got. Okay, um, and you, what you need to do is you obviously need to stick heat. You need to glue here and here so that this forms a pocket there, and then you need to glue here and here so that it forms a pocket here. So that's what we're going to do now. So oh no, that's not the right glue, the wrong glue. No. Stop coming into shot. I know you want to be famous, but you can't be. So, this desk isn't big enough for the both of us. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Yeah, I don't know what that's from. So that's here yeah, in my head. <laughs> Where that came from, no idea. I'll try and send it back. No guarantees, though. Um, and then you're going to glue here and on the other side as well. So, up there. And then up there. Okay. There's that tail of glue, lose that. And put, stick that down. And that is one of that's one of your first pockets. Now, I think I probably will sew round this. Um, but I'll do that in a in a few minutes. I won't bother so much now. We'll see what sort of time we have. Um, I'd like to get this all kind of done in an hour. Um, I think we might succeed. I'm just going to, just doing that for a bit more contrast. There we go. So that's the first bit. Okay. So now we move on. Okay. So this will form a tag. Okay. That we can put into here. Okay. But we'll do that in a minute. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this. So we're going to make our little notebook thing. Now you've got to then decide which way up are we going to have it, um, which side do you want on the outside, 
Um, I think I'm going to go for this color on the outside. And what you want to first of all do is lose one and a half inches off the end. Okay, so, no, that's in centimeters. Oh no, it is, it is in inches too. So one and a half inches off the end. Doesn't matter which end you, you take it off. Um, it does matter if you think it doesn't work. Oh no, it's working. So take one and a half um, inches off the end. I don't know how I managed to cut a wonky line with a a paper cutter, but there we go. Um, and now what we want to do is we just want to fold it in half. Okay, so you're just going to need some pages for in here. So I can use whatever's around. So I'll use a bit of tissue paper. So what you want to think of is how big is this, first of all? Well, that's what we get a trusty ruler out for. So it's going to be, if you can see here, this, this side is just over three. So it's three and a quarter inches. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have it at three inches so that it doesn't hang over the side. And then this way, we're going to have it at three and three quarters. So three by three and three quarters. So what you need to do is you need to get some more gets a few pieces of paper you only need five or six sheets of paper you don't need a lot um, but you just need a few to make up your your little journal um, sorry I'm just collecting paper should have been ready but have we met so um, why would I be ready okay so I've just got a few sheets of paper um, and we'll just put those in together so if you line them all up, like on one of the edges at least, I think I'm going to have that so that the, let's lose that there, Dave. So line them all up at the top edge there as well. So we've got a, a bit of a book page here as well. Um, and then also line that one up and then you can sort of cut them in the right place it doesn't matter if they're a little bit out remember you're making a junk journal it's not a, it doesn't have to be perfect so because we want it at three that way remember you've got to double it because you're going to fold it in half so you want it at six let's just check that measurement remember what you should do you should always measure twice cut once so yeah so it's three and a quarter, so we're going to have it at six. So don't like put too many sheets of paper together because remember you've got to cut through it. Okay, and then we're going to flip it round and we're now going to cut at whatever I just said it was <laughs> that I don't remember. Four, sorry, three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. We're going to cut it at three and a half. Okay, so. Think about three and a half. If you can hear cutting in the background, that's not me. That's not my third hand. It's Ryan. So I'm going to cut at three. It's dragging a bit. It's dragging a bit. It's dragging a lot, Dave. That's that book page. It's because you're cutting on the on a book page that is really old and it doesn't like to be cut that way because the the um the things don't lie that way the things yeah i don't know whether i've made a mess of that the stuff and things let's just see will that fold over and look okay that's fine yeah so it it dragged it because it's an old book page and you're cutting against the fibers but you know it's a junk journal we don't mind it looking junky do we so what I'll do is I'll put, I'm going to space these out a little bit, put that there, put that there, maybe that one on the outside, and maybe that one in the middle. Yep, so that one, and then all we're going to do is we're going to fold it over, try and get it kind of in half, and then I just want to score it, okay. 
so just to help it be in the right place a bit better um, yeah and then you've got the these the open edges right so what I did with mine you could sew it if you want to you could glue it in with a bead of glue you'd have to put a bead of glue on each layer um, it will make it a bit bulky though if you do that so what I did was instead of sewing it because I was looking for speed sorry Brian is rustling now for some reason um, he's been humming and now he's rustling so what I did was I just put it in here and then I stapled it now my staple doesn't reach that all of the way so all I did was I just bent the page over a little bit yeah get that in there and I just stapled and then I just unbent the page so it kind of does its job it doesn't you know it only needs one staple it doesn't need a, a huge amount of them and then all I did was I rounded my corners so you don't have to but I just did because I did I don't have to explain it I did so I'm gonna go for a shallower round on that this time just do that one and then do that one actually that one didn't do that side for some reason I oh, don't know why that won't do just try doing it like that yeah that's it and then just round that bit off and there we go so we've made our little booklet okay so that's another thing so that's something else we can put in there so we could ink the edges up this is the ink pad that I stole from Brian and I haven't given him back um, so I don't know what he's doing at the moment so he's coping without I think doing so he's yeah doing without basically so I'm just going to ink that up and then along the spine make it junky and then down and around all the edges So all the way round until we get back to the, that bit there. Okay, cool. So put the lid on that. So there we go. We've made a little booklet that will go in in there. Okay. There we go. So that's another thing for our for our little journal. So keep these bits that you cut off because you're going to need these shortly. Let's move some of these things out of the way. Okay. So now we get to the bigger piece so on this bigger piece so let's just show you where where we are so we've made we're going to make that out of that that piece that we've just cut off the bigger piece that's right the the bit that we cut off the bottom of this the bit that we cut out of that right angle there is going to be that okay we've made the booklet yeah we've made that this is what we're going to make now okay so this is high <laughs> this is five and a half high okay so that obviously means that you are going to score at five and a half so again pick which is your top that's the top yeah so you want to score it at five and a half this way from five and a half from the bottom uh, no sorry five and a half from the top Dave five and a half from the top you want to score and then that's the bit that's going to fold up okay so what I do what I've what I did with mine is I um, folded it like this and then I thought no I don't I didn't quite like it like that so I'm going to cut an extra bit off and the cutting the extra bit off is what give you extra tags so I'll be honest, I didn't don't always follow the instructions. So um, I cut let's go this way. I cut two inches off mine. I'm gonna cut two inches off again. So that folds up like that, and then you get this this shorter piece, this bit that you cut off the original when we made this, remember we cut um, sorry when we made 
that we cut one and a half off it and so this is the bit that we've cut off now this is obviously goes around a different way around because mine my piece of paper is directional but we're going to cut a divot out of here it doesn't have to be right in the middle actually what i'll do is if i line those two up together those two divots will then be in the same place so it doesn't matter if they're not in the middle uh, as long as they're lined up with each other so i'm going to cut a divot out of there Those EK success punches are fantastic. Nothing like those Van Helsing ones. Whatever they're called. <laughs> Vanessa. I said Vanessa. Alexa's just come on. She thinks that she's... And, and her name is everything. Now she's telling me something I don't didn't ask. So... The problem, always listening big sisters watching you so I'm just going to fold that up so it's slightly it, my cutter isn't straight so <laughs> like everything else in this house um, so all I'm doing is I'm pushing it in a bit to straighten it up and what that does is it creates a, a more of a a domed pocket which means that you get it's easier to get things in and out of you, if you remember the video I did just previously with my lap bug, um, the pocket was so tight I had to wax my um, tuck for it, and th this obviously prevents that happening. So the only thing is, whatever you put into it, it needs to be a bit thicker, otherwise it will just fall out. So, okay, so I've done that, and then I'm going to do the same for um, for this, but. But this, because it's, you're sticking the whole thing down, you're going to have to glue on three edges. So I'm, I'm going red, white, red again for the background. I've, I'm feeling a bit manic today, so if this makes no sense, then, you know, that's why. <laughs> that's that, my life. So, it's my life. Yeah, jump down. <laughs> This one's a little bit too long. I'll just cut that bit off. Because I can't dome this pocket so it won't stick at the bottom otherwise. I won't be able to stick it down on this bottom bit if I dome it too much. So, And you don't need this one to be that big anyway. So that's that. Okay, and all I did on mine was I just rounded the top of the corners. But this time I think I'm going to make it a bit more like a tag rather than a rounded tag. So, uh, easier that way so I'll just put my chamfered edge there and then just do the flip it over and do the other side okay so just do cut that bit off I'll just turn that round actually okay so we've got like a tag shape now um, and you can put in there whatever you w want, whether you want a circle punch or you might want a um, a slot punch. I think I might go for a, a, a big circle. I think that's the middle-ish. Maybe there. Or maybe there. I don't know now. <laughs> Maybe there. <laughs> Stop it, Dave. I'm going there. Okay. So all I've did or did this time is I've made a, a bigger hole this time. So and managed to cut that in half somehow. So that's our next tag. I'm just going to ink these edges. So I say I thought I'd lost the plot. No, the um, the ink then. What happened? It's here. Just going to ink all round. No speed inking for me. I'll just ink as it as it happens. And a 
really should have done this before I finished the tag, I guess, but I'd love to say you live and you learn. Live all very well where I don't. I learned nothing in my years. Uh, just going to ink the whole of the, that bottom one just to give it a different colour. Oh, I like it like that, yeah. And then I'm going to put some ink on this one. Obviously, if you'd done it before, you'd be able to get more of a, just an edge effect. But So you do yours before. Because you'll have watched, hopefully you'll have watched this video and then done it. So rather than watch this video and doing it with me, that's a big mistake. <laughs> do as I say and not as I do. And then I'm just going to ink in there, hopefully get in there. Put some colour around that hole. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay, so that's that. Might just come in off the edges here. As you can see the back. You could put something over the back of this, so if you want to, you know, it depends on whether you're going to stick it down or whether you're going to have it as a as a tag. And I'm obviously committed to having it as a tag because I've put a hole in it. Um, so you could just put some paper on the back. That's really doesn't actually make any difference, Dave. So maybe not that. Maybe just rip a bit of this out. I'll rip that bit, rip this bit off. How much of that do I want off? Maybe that bit there. Oh, that didn't go very well. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. It's going to be like that, is it? It is. Just like that. So, cut that bit off. Cut it off, I mean rip it off. Rip that bit off as well, and then just rip the top bit off. I'll just have a, a ripped bit on the back. That's fine, like it. In fact, I might emphasise that rip with a bit of colour. Oh, Worcester's, Worcester's here. I don't know why he's panting like that. I don't know whether you can hear him panting. It does, it does sound like a train's coming in, though. The heavy breathing is not me, it's Worcester. I don't know, surely you can't see a squirrel at this time of night. Um, they should be all tucked up in bed, surely. Like you should be. Someone will have upset him. Yeah, somebody's upset him, somebody's walked past the house or, you know, heaven forbid. There should be anybody outside, ever. Not even just at night, ever. Other pe how dare other people exist in the world when Worcester gets so stressed about it so I'm just going to use something to something to glue on rather than getting a glue book out so I'm going to ink or just ink not ink sorry I'm just going to glue across this piece of paper Making sure I get all the edges because I want them to stick out. Throw that over there. Don't care where it went. And then just pop that on there. And then just get my card just to smooth it out. Okay, so it hangs a little bit off there. I can get it to go back. No, we can't. So, guess what? I'm just going to tear it off and then we'll just ink it. There we go. So we can now make that flat. Cool. So that's that. So we've got, we've now got this, we've got this, which is very descriptive. Um, we're going to make a little tag I think we might only get oh, what? we go for maybe two thin tags or we could cut oh that's that's what that's what it was 
so I've cut this down so it needs to be cut down in order to go in here so I'm going to cut like a half cent half a centimeter no about half an inch off this one lengthwise so you can't do half an inch on there so I won't do it on that one I'll do it on this one oh just push something in the bin my work case phone case my work phone that's what I mean so I'm going to take half a centimeter half an inch off this this way okay just check it might go a little bit a smidge more so maybe should have been three quarters of an inch but never mind we'll go no not not that Dave three quarters of an inch Dave okay so and then we're going to use this for the top of the tag i'm going to turn this into a tag by chamfering the edges off uh, how big do we want it to be it's be a bit shorter than that so we can cut a bit off the top Where's this? Right. cut a bit off there don't know maybe maybe that much maybe that much to the end of my cutter whatever measurement that is I don't think it's a standard un unit of measurement but it's one for me right. I want to keep the, all the bits that we've cut off um, then I'm going to chamfer an edge which I think that might be a bit steep that chamfer I don't know where the other cut piece is oh well what we'll try and do is uh, I'm just going to cut that edge off so it's the bit where I cut on the fold so it's just got a, a crimped over bit that I just don't like so I'm going to put this up we'll do it level with the level with the C of PC world cut that bit off there and then if we do it that way and then do level with the C of PC world do that and then cut that bit off there and that should give us a similar sort of yeah that's fine it does we're going to make a hole in the top of here um, with a hole punch there we go there's one A hole in there. So that's our tag. We'll make we'll ink that with some ink. Usually what you ink things with. Put the lid on back on that, Dave. Um I don't know why I was trying to turn the no, that doesn't work, Dave. So I'm gonna ink off sorry, from off onto it so like you kind of get a, a blurred edge try not to let it wrinkle obviously take your time over this okay i'm going to do the same on the, the other side because i haven't decided which side i'm going to use and all the way around like buffalo girls do all the way around the outside yeah so that's going to be our tag for in here or maybe that way around so put that in there we'll find something to put in in there in a second when then we're going to make um that's what i should have done Right, we're going to make this into a slot. Well, it's going to be like like those one of those hanging uh, tabs, I think. Oh no, because we can't get it. We can't make it, make it go in far enough now. Well, that's a rocky error, because what I was going to do is if I'd used my slot thing, I was going to use this as the as the string for it. But you know what? I'm going to experiment. Which way round did I want it? That way round. So I'm going to fold this over. 
You don't get any more creative than when you make mistakes. So, so just scoring that off. Scoring that off there. Okay, I'm just going to kind of break the fibres in it a bit now by kind of curling it. Curling, you know, like when you curl ribbon with the edge of a, some scissors. I'm just doing it with my nail. Okay, and then doing it the other way. I break its spirit. So. Oh, I, I know why Buster's upset now, because uh, somebody is uh, letting fireworks off, and he's not. In, he's never been a. He's never been a particularly happy chap about fireworks. I don't, you know, I don't mind them, but I don't blame him. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use that as the little tag off at the top. Um, I'm just going to stick it down, just so that it doesn't wobble everywhere. Bit down, flip it over. It just means it won't fall off that way as well. Yeah, so I like to try and use every bit. I mean, I know I've cut like the circle punch thing out and a couple of chamfers off the side from the the um, from the tags that I've made, but generally I've used most of it. So there you go. That's another bit. Okay, so we've getting through a few now and then um, I'm just going to make a couple of very small tags I'm going to make a little this one into a little tag with a this is going to have a little perhaps we put it in the right bit Dave a little domed top if you can manage to do that Dave Like that. So that's got a little rounded top. Um, I'll put a little hole in it. Like that. I shall ink it. Let's go for something a bit darker. Go for a walnut stain. Bring this in. Where, should, where are we having it? We're having it against that white background, but we're going to go for the white and we're going to go dark dark so so I made a little tag that can go in that front pocket there yeah slightly different like I say this you know just how how things happen isn't it things go differently and I think I'm going to do the same for this this bit I'm going to round this top now actually you know what I'm going to do it like a like the top of a ticket type thing so I want to to there and if we get that lined up the patent do that and then do the same flip it over to there to the top of the patent it should be a similar sort of line no, there. Yeah, that's all right. I'm happy with that. It works. It works for me anyway. Um, and I'm going to like a dip with the other one, make it this one a bit darker, but I'm going to do use the red a bit darker. Just go over the whole thing. I like the fact that it kind of darkens the white a lot more. Um, and there we go, so that's that. Sorry, I stole that from Brian, so I'll give it him back. Um, I'm going to now just, what shall I do with the top of this? I'll use a slot, a slot punch in this one. That can go in there, in the middle. There we go, so we've got another type of ticket just in there. Okay, so there we go. So that's what we've made. Don't know how long that took, but that's what we've made out of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I'm just going to get rid of, and obviously a few other extra bits. You know, you don't have to use the extra bits like I've done. This is basically all that I've got left is a couple of divots, the circle that I punched out of the the top of here, the 
the slots that I've punched out of here and the circle that I've punched out of there and that one out of there um, and the corners that are cut off and that's about it so I've used a 12 by 12 sheet of paper but I haven't have, haven't wasted it um, so I now have again like I say slightly different depends on how you punch holes and things like that so we've got a tag a little tag we've got a little booklet yeah um we've got a pocket now you could glue that down on two sides and have it as a side tuck sorry as a, a corner tuck uh or you could have it as a top or a, a side um or you could stick it hold hold down or you could have it as a floating pocket um you've obviously got um, a pocket here and a pocket here and then you've got this which i've i mean i've chosen to have as a tag you could have it as a floating pocket or you could have it tag or you could have it as a, a stuck down thing whatever you want to do but you've got a, a pocket here and you've got a pocket here and we made these two little tags out of it as well so i think that's that's quite good for a, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper you kind of especially if you're going for a theme because if you you know you're trying to get one particular color of journal i mean i'm thinking i'm thinking maybe i might do a christmas journal which i've never done a christmas themed journal ever and that's why i went for this color um because i thought it would be it'd be nice it's kind of christmasy isn't it so um but you know it's great if you're creating a theme or you could just batch make a whole load of them and just have you know one of different colors so you could have this in in this and you could have you know i don't know this in in this and you know a tag in the um that one doesn't actually fit in there uh the t a tag in this line paper you know you can mix it up that's what it's all about so a bit of mix and match so anyway i hope you go and go off and make a few if you do make it you, know, you probably do like i do and make a whole uh, batch of them and you won't have a problem with um like what bits and components you put together because the choice will be yours so the world is your welk so there you go so that's what we've made so thank you very much for watching me today um i hope you enjoyed it my name is dash of dave um i uh try to upload twice a week sometimes it's once a week depending on how busy my job is i do a quite a demanding role um but yeah if you you want to like and subscribe i really do appreciate it um and you know thanks very much to sue uh paper inspirations um for giving me this idea and you know go head over there and and have a look at what she does uh, she does a lot of series on making 12 by 12 makes some of the things they're not really for me she does make some different things with her 12 by 12 in this series but i i kind of mix it up and do what i like to do so anyway have fun go and enjoy i'm going to finish doing the rest of these so that you can see them on the front page um for when the cover photo that you'll see might be slightly different and um my instagram post for it will be slightly different so come and follow me on on instagram as well so anyway thanks very much for watching uh my name's dasha dave as I always say, I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. You all have a lovely afternoon, evening, morning or whatever time it is with you. And I'll see you all very soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mm, big crafty hugs. You take care. Bye. Bye.